Marcus Conti reporting. Did Bernie Sanders get shafted at the CNN town hall where they presented him to the people for the first time? Some people seeing Bernie Sanders at a town hall for the first time. Did they give him the shaft? Did CNN give him a fair shake? Hmm, I don't know. There's some evidence that suggests otherwise. Let's jump into it. So I want to first thing I want to point out is the color scheme, right? Now, here Bernie Sanders is a is an old guy with gray hair, a lot of red features, right? And when you put him on a forget about the facial expression, they make him look like a you know like he's angry. He's the angry old man, right? Old grandpa, angry, right? But besides that, that's not the point I'm trying to make. Look at the color scheme. Look at Bernie Sanders behind blue, dark blue. You see some light blue over here, lighter gray, right? But then you put him in the red. You see how he looks like an old man, right? See, look at this study right here. You see this study where this, this kid is in red and in blue, right? When he's in red, he looks like a, he, he looks a little like older and shot, right? Which one makes him look like crap? That's what the headline says, right? So I just wanted to point it out, right? See the girl... How, how how vibrant she looks with a yellow, gold, royal blue, gold, but they stick Bernie behind the red, right? Now, is it, it, was it on purpose? Yeah, it fucking is on purpose. Check this out. We're clear. Right now, we See, have watch. a nation which prides itself on a lot of political rights. In other words, under the Constitution. Okay, you see how the set is? Now, when, when Wolf Blitzer is standing there, right? When, see when Wolf Blitzer is standing over here, but his head is in, you see how they, they slickly diagonaled that Bernie's head is always in, in, in red, so he looks like a fucking old crazy guy. He looks gray and red. Fire in his face, right? Whereas Wolf Blitzer, most of the time you saw him, was a, was a side angle, and the blue was behind him. Now, I'm not, is it, am I being petty about it? God, you it have matters. freedom of speech. See, he's Media always in red. Its thing, even though Trump calls you an enemy of the people. How does that feel to be an enemy? That's another story. All right. All right. So it's just a color scheme right there. They, they, they rig it in terms of the color scheme. Now, is that the big one? Not really, right? So what, what else happened? What else happened that, that uh, CNN accused of colluding with Democratic operatives during Bernie Sanders' town hall? <laughs> right? They're going to shaft him, right? And it's the subtlety, the, the ongoing subtlety, the nature of the questions. Who's asking the question? Is it a real, quote, town hall where you go to the town and you ask the town where the real people come to the town hall and, and talk and ask their politician questions? Hell fucking no. That's not what it was. What it was was a bunch of plants. It was a bunch of fucking CNN plants, right? Evidence, right? During the event, a young woman who asked Bernie Sanders critical questions about allegations of sexual harassment in his campaign was introduced as an American uni a student at American University. However, the student was was also reported reportedly an intern for Ca Cassidy and Associates, a large lobbying firm in Washington D.C. Damn, the shit was set up, man. They fucking set you up again, Bernie. Bernie, man, they're bending you over. They're bending you over the barrel already. And you're just going to shut your fucking hole and take it. Damn, you're such a coward, Bernie. Stand up for yourself, Bernie. Call them out. Call them what they are. They're fake fucking news, Bernie. You coward. All right, so also, according to a report from Paste, this, was the only, this wasn't the only fishy audience members. So Paste is doing it. Breitbart and, and Pace are doing a good job, right? CNN called Tara Ebersole a former biology ma uh, professor, quote, former biology uh, professor. When her Linux page listed her as a current, her current job description as chair of Baltimore County Democratic Party right? of 2016, since 2016. Further, her husband was part of Hillary Clinton's leadership council in Baltimore in 2016. They're fucking, they're operatives, right? They lined the audience with operatives. They call it a town hall. They put Bernie in a shit background, make him look old and tired and angry. And then they bang him with, with questions from that suit 
Wolf Blitz suits CNN. You notice how Wolf Blitzer had a, a comeback for every question? He already had the rebuttals because he knew the question, right? And he knows the rebuttal. I bet Bernie Sanders didn't know the question. Right? They didn't even, they probably didn't even, Bernie's too fucking stupid to say, yeah, all right, I'll do the town hall, but I want to see the questions first, right? And if you deviate from the questions, I'm going to call you out. Where That's not one of the questions we agreed to, Right? See, that's what they do. That's You'd love to be a bug on the wall behind, but Bernie's so kind. He's such a nice old man. He's just going to let them steamroll him. Right? You'd never see Trump. You'd never, Trump would never allow that shit to happen. Trump would call it out. Right? Any smart thinking person would call it out. Call it the fuck out, Bernie, before they cheat you again. Right? You, you're embarrassing us. Young Jung Sao was simply called Washington, uh, George Washington student, uh, which is also in D.C. George Washington uh, University is in D.C. By C- she was called uh, a student by CNN, despite her Linux page saying she also worked for Katz Watsburg, Watson Group, a fundraid- fundraising and consulting outlet. Right. Right. It, it's just and on and on and on. All the, the whole audience was rigged. It was a rig, Bernie. Uh, all right, the, the questions were fair. In fairness, the questions were fair, but that doesn't give you the right to... As we saw in the 2018 midterms, to, to rig the Democratic the election. Party has become to, more female, see, more racially diverse, and younger in age. How can a voter like me feel confident your in your face. ability to represent the party, especially given that your response to sexual harassment allegations during your campaign is that you were, quote, a little bit busy running around the country trying to make the case to be elected as president. Well, I think that quote was a little bit... It was... That that quote... The quote was way out of line. But out of context. But let me... It wasn't just out of context. It was like... That's... Watch your face. Ask you a question. I am enormously proud... Look, I'm so insulted that you didn't take my question about sexual harassment seriously. It was a... It was... The, the, first of all, the sexual harassment on Bernie... Was a was a second. He was there was three, two or three degrees of separation between him and the accuser. Right? He didn't do it purpose. He didn't do it intentionally. It's not like, you know, like Trump saying, "I want to grab a pussy," right, or something like that. Which Trump has never said it to any woman's face. That was locker room talk. But you get my point. That Bernie Sanders was not directly uh, connected to that. All right, so anyway, the color, the nature of the questions, the questioners, they turn out to be all, um, uh, you know, Democratic plants. And again, Bernie Sanders fucking, where's the, where's the statement? Where's the statement? Get fucking Jeff Weaver the, and, and release a statement and say, say, and why do you go on CNN? Why do you bother? You know they're going to hatchet you, but you still, he still goes on CNN, right? So... So Bernie Sanders is going to be also, I'll, I'll just end it here. Bernie Sanders, uh, Brooklyn College with Bernie Sanders this Saturday, March 2nd, 2019. Doors open at 10 a.m. Event 11.30 a.m. Brooklyn College Quad, the East Quad, the East Quad in Brooklyn, New York. Damn, Bernie Sanders coming to Brooklyn, right? So we'll see what he's going to say, right? What, what's he going to say? We know what he's going to say. He's going to say what he's been saying all along. But what we want to hear him say is that that the Russians, the Russians had nothing to do with the election. It had nothing. It was a fucking scam. It was a ripoff, right? It was a fucking ripoff. Apologize. Look into the camera, Bernie. Said, Tell, look into the camera. Look into the camera, and say, say this. Is how you do it? Say, say, I, I, I'm sorry, people. They fucked my ass, and they fucked your ass too. That, that. I, I took the two hundred and seventy million dollars, and they screwed us. They screwed us. They said Russia did it. Meanwhile, it was the DNC. It was Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the rest of those creeps that did it. Right? Tell the truth, Bernie, please. Uh, oh, you know what else? I could show you some of the. Uh, I'll, I'll give you. I'll leave. Let's, let's have a little laugh on this one. Um, some of the some of the memes that I found. These are I've been enjoying the memes on Facebook. Right? I'm I'm Bernie Sanders' fucking counselor now, right? It's funny how life takes a turn. 
Right, so uh, let me just set this up. I'm just setting something up so you can see it. Oh, 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 pass the time, Conte. Stall for a time, see if this works. Ah, there he is. Right, so here's a couple of good memes. It's fucking, look, everything is, everything is Russia, right? Everything Russia. Russia did it, right? There's Putin and Bernie and Trump and Jill Stein, all Russian puppets, right? That's a great, that's a great photo with uh, Vladimir Putin. This is a good meme right here. This is a good uh, tweet. This is great. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who rigged the Democratic primary so only Hillary Clinton could win and was forced to resign because of it, is questioning Michael Cohen, who was going to federal prison for lying about whether Trump rigged the election. You can't make it up. You see the irony? I put the fact that Debbie Wasserman Schultz, everybody knows that Debbie Wasserman Schultz rigged the primary against Bernie Sanders. But the only one who doesn't admit it is Bernie Sanders. And that's a damn shit. That's going to cost him the, that's going to cost him. It's going to cost him. It's already cost him. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> My chances in 2020? Well, that depends. <laughs> Ah, fucking Bernie. Bernie depends. What's the other one? Oh, so this Bernie and depends. This, is, this guy, this kid's great. I don't know who he is, but this is great. If Michael Cohen was testifying against Hillary, he would have been dead 48 hours ago. Change my mind. That's a great idea, man. Sit there and, and challenge the public. Oh, damn. This is fucking, love that guy. This is good. Russia released photo of Donald Trump with a prostitute. Huh? Who's the, who's, who is it, man? It's fucking... It's Slick Willy. It's Slick Willy. It's Slick fucking Willy. Willy. You were fucking dang. So, uh, Marcus Conti reporting. There was... Uh, so, Bernie Sanders needs to grow some testicles and stand up for himself, right? Before he gets fucking steamrolled, right? Stand up and say it. Where is your... Where's your fucking team that puts you up against a red screen like that makes you look like shit? Or loads the questions against you. Are you so, oh, CNN, please, 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 let me be on your show. Please, please, oh, I fucking want to be on your show. I want to be on your show so bad. That's what you fucking doing, man. You're going to get the fucking, fucking you in your ass. Bernie Sanders. God, guy makes, it irks me. Marcus Conti reporting. 